Every pike angler knows this site. The freeze is stacked with roach, smelt, mackerel, lamprey, and so on. But why do some baits outfish others? Is it down to the blood content or oil? Can pike really smell these scents in the water? And does injecting oil actually help with catching more pike? Today we're busting one of the biggest myths in predator fishing with science, real world baits and stories from the bank. Pike don't just hunt with their eyes. Their noses are also super powerful. More powerful probably than most anglers realize. They've got two pairs of nares, nostril like openings that constantly flush water across folds of sensory tissue lined with thousands of receptor cells. These cells are tuned to detect chemical cues, especially amino acids released by injured prey. Now here's what the science says. Predatory fish detect amino acids at concentrations as low as parts per billion. That's like spotting a drop of ink in a swimming pool. For a pike, blood and tissue fluids leaking into the water are a dinner bell. This is why some freezer baits have such a reputation Lamprey for example, it's messy but effective, it pours blood when cut, leaking amino acids constantly, that's exactly the signal pike are tuned into. But for me, my number one has always been mackerel, not so much because of the blood, but because it's naturally oily. Mackerel constantly leaks a slick into the water, and over the years it's caught me more fish than almost anything else. There's a lot of folklore around predators and blood. Sharks are said to go into frenzies at the tiniest drop. Pike just aren't like that. Yes, they detect blood, but it doesn't drive them mad. What it does is signal opportunity. Blood tells a pike, here's something injured, something easy. That's why freshly nicked baits or naturally bloody ones like lamprey often get quick takes. It's not a frenzy. It's more like efficiency. Pike are ambush predators, but they're also opportunists. They'll take an easy meal every time. Now, let's talk about oils. They behave differently in water. Blood is water soluble. It spreads instantly, creating a strong amino acid cloud. Oils are hydrophobic. They don't dissolve. They rise and spread slowly as a thin slick. They don't scream injured prey but they whisper for hours, creating a trail that pike can follow. Here's what the science says. Pike can detect compounds in oils too, fatty acids and break down products from fish flesh. While not as direct as blood, these signals are still attractive, especially when spread over time. And this is why oily baits like mackerel are so effective. Even without doing anything, a chunk of mackerel leaks oil for hours. Pike can follow that slick straight to the bait. So how do we put this into practice? Well, for me, it's all about combining signals. Blood for the instant trigger, oil for the lasting trail. Lamprey, brilliant for bleeding. Half a lamprey leaks blood constantly and has put loads of pike on the bank for me, especially when they're in the mood. Mackerel, it is my personal go-to. It's naturally oily, which is why it's so reliable. Now I know some anglers will say, why inject oil into mackerel, it's already oily. And you're right, playing mackerel catches loads of fish. But here's why I still boost it. Freezing and thawing can drain a lot of natural juices out of the fish. And sometimes I want that scent to last longer in the water. A shot of oil just recharges the bait for me, especially in cold or still conditions. And in my experience, it does make a difference. Now let's take smell or roach for example. It's less oily, but brilliant for size and profile. If I'm using them, I'll nick them open or add oil to balance things out. So no, you don't need to inject mackerel, but I do because I've seen the benefits over the years. And predator fishing is all about experimenting. It's the personal journey and seeing what works on the day. Now I've had sessions where lamprey has outfished everything purely down to the blood trail, or at least that's what I believe. But just as many where mackerel have saved the blank. I've also seen how an oiled up bait can outfish an identical plain one right next to it. And I've had blanks where I've left washed out baits in too long and learned the hard way. 
If you want to see this for yourself, try it yourself. Fish one rod with a plain frozen bait, another nick to bleed with injection oil in it. Watch what happens. It's one of the best experiments you can do and it'll show you just how much scent really matters. So, can pike smell blood? Absolutely. Their noses are tuned to amino acids and bleeding baits like lamprey prove it. Do oils work? Most definitely. Oily baits like mackerel create long lasting scent trails pike can follow. And yes, boosting with extra oil can help, especially with frozen baits or when conditions are tough. The real trick is knowing when to lean on blood rich baits and when to go for oily ones and how to give them that extra boost. Get that right and you'll put more fish on the bank. Thanks for watching. And if you found this predator myth buster useful, please hit the like, subscribe and let me know in the comments. What's your number one freezer bait for pike fishing? And don't miss the next video where I break down all the top dead baits for pike fishing. The pros, the cons, and when I use each one. But for now, tight lines.